Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and in today's episode of Dye Time I'm dyeing this six-stranded cotton floss. It's 10 metres and I am going to be dyeing it with these three colours I've made in solution already. We've got Orange Crush, New Emerald Green and Lavender. But I've done a primary colours a colourway. I haven't done secondary colours so I thought I'd do this I think. What am I going to do? Yeah, I think I'll just no. just have it like this. I'm going to do random splodges, I think. Now this, uh, this cotton has been soaking in soda ash and water for quite a while. Uh, it's a, it's, as this is a plant-based fiber, you need soda ash and fiber reactive dyes. Uh, animal based fibers you need um, you need acid uh, well you need acid to help bind the dye to the fiber but you can use um, acid dyes fiber reactive dyes or um, food coloring with plant based fibers such as um, cotton you do are a bit more restricted in what you can do so I've just massaged this through. I'm going to wash my brush and come back for the next colour. Next, I'm going to go for the green, new emerald green. This is a beautiful colour. There we go. It's gonna... not going to be a repeating colourway at all. But I just want it to be random splodges and I'll just massage it through so that hopefully all the strands can get some. There we go. I don't really want any white. And finally, I'm going into the lavender. I'm just going to. There we go. I think I'm happy with that. So I just massage it through. There we go. Oops. Get a tiny bit of purple there as well. Oops. Hopefully, it won't muddy too much. But that's not looking too bad, I think. Uh, I'm just wiping down this now. With uh, animal-based fibres, you need heat to set the uh, the dye to the fibre, but with plant-based, you don't. You just need time. So I'm going to roll this up with the cling film. So I've got a tape. I've got a towel on top of my surface just to protect it, and then have the cling film on top of that. Uh, the cling film does a great job of protecting the surface, and also it's handy to roll up you're working. So I'm going to leave this under my sink for about two days now. It's been a little over two days now. Let's unravel this and wash. Okay. Okay, there is some uh, dye left on the cling film, not much, so which means that there will be a little bit of runoff on this, but yeah, it's mostly that green. But as long as the runoff doesn't start changing the colour on uh, on here, then we, I don't worry about it too much. Just gonna I've just added a little bit of washing up liquid, just just to help remove any excess dye. And already the water's starting to run clear, so I'm going to just rinse this through a little bit more, and then we can dry. And here is our finished floss. Now some of the colours when they fade into each other have muddied together a little bit like here with the orange and purple. But over here I quite like this nice sort of earthy dark green that fades from the green into the orange. I think that's really really quite nice and I'm very happy with how this has turned out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please do click like and subscribe to my channel. I aim to produce a new dyeing tutorial every Monday and it's usually uploaded uh, UK time between about 6 and 8 p.m. and I like to try and make each video different so I'll do dye a different fibre type or a different uh, or I might dye some floss or use a different technique or different dyes so the, each video there will be something different. Thank you so much for watching.